after parts of two days of driving, we finally showed up in Moab and look at the view. Today we're doing the top of the world trail. So I'm about to get the Jeep out and do part of this trail with the Jeep. It'll be its first real Moab off-road trail. We'll go down to five. That seems good. <laughs> very high. Once again, we're in Moab and it's my birthday and I can't think of a better place to have a birthday. that we're gonna try and do Hell's Revenge in Cinderella. Um, we've got the tires aired down, did a fresh oil change just in case, and uh, we're gonna see how much of the trail we can do actually driving the Jeep. You said try, but it has a winch. It does have a winch, <laughs> yes. So, so we're gonna do. We're gonna do the <laughs> whole trail. <laughs> Hell's Revenge here until uh, I broke a steering arm. This steering arm here, the weld here is still solid, but the weld on the back popped loose and now it's bent out. And you can see here where it shoved it into the wheel and locked it up. Cinderella has made it to the top of Hell's Revenge. Now we're gonna go try and do Hell's Gate and hope that that steering arm holds out just a little bit longer and we can make it back. Well, that didn't last long. That's the steering arm. It's now completely separated, so we're done with that. 
but uh, we'll get it fixed and go hit some more trails tomorrow. It only made it from right over there to here before it died. So we'll load up and go hit Hell's Gate in the taco. Time to weld this uh, steering arm back onto the for the Jeep. Um, we have a welder set up that we're about to find out if it works. It's plugged into the inverter in Aza's van. The other thing is we brought a welder, we brought gloves, we brought grinders. We didn't bring a welding helmet, so I'm gonna have to uh, weld this blind. I'll just close my eyes, turn away, and weld it by feel. runs it for a couple seconds. We've got a generator that puts out about the same amount of power, so we're gonna try that. After a whole day and a half of uh, wrenching and welding and other shenanigans, we've got everything ready to go again. This is Fins and Things Trail. Um, we're gonna try to do the whole thing in the Jeep again.
nice thing about having a light vehicle. Yeah, you can winch to a small fence post. <laughs> down here I spent like 20 hours staring at the back of the taco and you can see how bent the passenger side rear wheel is well it's probably the hub anyway it wobbles a lot and that was Moab guys thanks for watching this video I had a lot of fun thanks to Clinton and Sam from Dirt Garage they filmed a couple of those clips you saw here and if you want to see more about the trucks in Moab Clinton will be uploading them on his channel, Dirt Garage. Thanks to Falcon Tires. They hooked us up with those Wild Peak HTs, which were awesome for the Sprinter van, getting around the sand down there. And of course, we have Cinderella shirts and stickers in our store. That's grindhardplumbingco.com. There'll be a link in the description. Thanks, guys. So Cinderella did awesome in Moab. Uh, went up stuff that I never thought it would. Um, had a great time and broke some stuff. Uh, the One of the control arms that I made, uh, there was a weak point in there, which I knew was a potential weak point, but it bent really bad, so need to fix that. Also, the engine is kind of done. Uh, at some point, it got a, the head gasket blue or something like that, because uh, there was a little bit of oil in the coolant, and it was burning through coolant, and uh, just generally not happy with life. So we're gonna rebuild the engine, do higher compression piston, make it perform a little better, maybe put a cam in there. Anyway, complete rebuild on the engine. And once that's done, we'll take it to the dyno and finally get a real horsepower number. So the next video on this will be a full performance benchmark. Yep. <laughs> how much does it weigh? How much power does it make? Rebuild, all of that. <laughs>